Welcome everybody. Did you know that we start plants in petri dishes? Look at that. Sounds kind of crazy and sci-fi-esque, huh? Come along with us for the journey today. Hi, my name is Jessica Tatro and welcome to Pleasant View Gardens and we are going to introduce you to this propagation method today. We are at the very end of October. We've just wrapped up our garden season and we are now introducing you to our greenhouses. We have a really cool story for you guys today. We're gonna introduce you to tissue culture propagation, explain why we use it, how tissue culture is produced, show you how we um, stick it on the lines and what this means for you guys for your garden plants. So come along with us today as we show you all of those steps. As I mentioned, um, our greenhouses are a little bit empty at this point. It's still the beginning of the season. We cannot wait for the season to get started out here. And the reason I say that is they're predicting snow tomorrow. Can you believe it? It's the end of October. I'd, I love the white stuff, but I'm not ready for it yet. We are going to show you our propagation and it's always great on those winter days to see real live stuff in the gardens and excuse me, in the greenhouses. And these are the plants that we're starting now that we are going to be selling to growers all across the United States. They're going to be bringing these into their greenhouses in the winter and early spring. And these are going to be the plants that you will find at the garden center this upcoming spring. So it's quite a long process when you consider all that goes into making the tissue culture, producing the liner, and then having a finished plant for, for you guys for the garden. So it's a quite a long process. Um, in total, if I had to calculate it, you're probably looking anywhere from eight to nine months. So it's really a cool process behind this, how we get these plants to you. So tissue culture, we are gonna be going and showing you how we go from this all the way to this Tissue culture, what is it? It is growing plants in a sterile environment in the lab. So we get these shipped to us. We just received our shipment yesterday. We got about a thousand plants, so a very small grouping for us. We're filling in a few gaps that we were missing. But we got about a thousand plants that we're gonna stick on the machine today, and they arrive in these vessels. These have 25 plants in them each. They come in an auger solution. It's basically like a jello solution. And we open these up and we pull these out very gently here. So we've got our little roots and this plant, do I have the right variety here? Yep, this is spearmint. Goes all the way to producing this. And these are we have our barcodes on the front here. I'll show you the age. These are only six weeks old. Isn't that pretty cool? Seeing the roots go from there to there. We are gonna have these in the greenhouse for about another month, and then they're ready to start shipping out all across the country. Tissue culture process has four stages. The first stage is initiation, where we are taking plant material from the mother plant, whether it's the meristem, which is the very tiny, so the growing tips, or a section of the leaf, and putting that and getting it sterile and putting it into the first solution. So it's really cool because you can multiply plants just from plant cells, kind of like a lizard regrowing its tail. So the cells, depending on the hormones that you give them, can turn into roots or shoots. It's really cool on how it's kind of sci-fi that you can do this to these. But the first step is initiation. The stage two is our multiplication stage where we're proliferating all of the shoots. Then under a sterile environment and a hood, they'll go through and separate out all the shoots, put it onto another growing media that has hormones for rooting. So stage three is a rooting in the lab. These arrive to us as stage three plantlets. Stage four is acclimating them out in the greenhouse. So that's what we are doing here. So we have to take the plants and provide the right humidity, the right temperatures, the right light levels to get them coming from a lab situation where there's no sun into a plant that's ready to go out into the greenhouse and then go out into the garden. Why do we do tissue culture? There's a couple of different reasons for this. The main one 
that you will be most familiar with is that we use these for plants that are hard to propagate by any other means or are too slow to propagate by any other means. So think about your garden plants. You have hostas, you go out to your garden, they grow for a couple of years, they get big, you divide them, now you got two plants or you have three plants that you can grow in your garden. But that's taking you a couple of years. When you're trying to produce this many plants, you don't have the time to wait for that. So the tissue culture process is a way to multiply these faster and more efficiently so we have higher volumes that we can send out to the market. So you guys can get the plants that you want instead of being in really short supply and fighting over the few that are available. We want to make sure that you guys get the plants that you're really looking forward to growing in your gardens. The other reason that we do this is this acts as a germplasm bank for us. So you might be familiar with seeds and all through the years we've got heirloom seeds and things like that. You have seed banks where we hold on to those germplasms. For our vegetatively propagated plants, we use the tissue culture as our, basically our germplasm bank where we can hold on to it and we can always go back to and multiply from. So we keep it true to type. So the plant that we introduce now is going to be the same that we sell to you guys 10 years later if it's still on the market. So those are the reasons why we do tissue culture. And it is so fun to just look at how cute they are to go from here out to the plants that we have in the, in the garden. And the one that I just showed you here is a heuchera. And we have shown this a couple of times, especially in our fall cleanup video and our um, fall transitional garden, just the multiple colors that we do have available for heuchera and the uses for those out in the garden. So come along with us. This is the introduction phase out here in the garden. Um, excuse me, why do I keep saying garden? <laughs> This is the introduction out here in the greenhouse. Now we're going to go over and show you how we uh, transplant these on our production lines. Thanks for joining us on our little adventure today as we introduced you to our tissue culture process, taking plants from those little tiny petri dishes that were grown in a lab through our process of how we get them into our liner trays and seeing the finished end result. We're so excited and we love propagation and being able to get all of these plants produced so that you guys have the opportunity to grow them in your gardens each and every year. Thanks for watching us. We look forward to sharing more techniques and technology and plant processes with you. If you want to stay up to date with us, please hit subscribe to our channel. And if you want notifications, remember to click the little bell. Thanks for joining us today.